All right, more confusion, complaints about the Obama administration's treatment of and handling of Israel. 76 senators, half of them Democrats, sending Secretary of State Hillary Clinton a letter urging her to end what they see as the administration's a very negative stance toward Israel. My next guest says uh, Clinton's boss, the president, created this mess, and he's a Democrat. In fact, they're both Democrats. The former New York City Mayor Ed Koch, back with me now. Well, Mayor, you were on this before anyone was. You took immediate exception to the way Benjamin Netanyahu was treated, but it, things have gotten worse, haven't they? I do believe uh, that. I believe uh, that the uh, president uh, is embarked upon changing the uh, foreign policy of the United States uh, by dissing, as you use the expression, uh, the state of Israel, as he did at the White House uh, with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. Why is and he doing it? Uh, because I believe the following. One, he wants to uh, increase uh, the support uh, that he uh, uh, would like to have amongst the Sunni Arab nations. He is throwing in uh, the towel on uh, preventing uh, Iran and North Korea from having uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction, nuclear arms. He has said that if a nation uh, uh, doesn't have a nuclear uh, bomb, but uses uh, weapons of mass destruction, biological, chemical, against the United States, that we won't retaliate uh, with a nuclear response. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, I, be, I smell Munich in the air, uh, to be totally uh, honest. Uh, with you, as I always am. And I'm very disappointed. Even uh, with the Congress, the letter should not have been directed at uh, Hillary Clinton, who's only carrying out the instructions of uh, President Obama, as uh, was uh, Vice President Biden when he uh, made this uh, attack upon uh, Israel, because he's normally a very uh, big supporter of the state of Israel. That congressional letter should have been sent to the president. Why was it? I thought of that, too. Why was it? Well, I will tell you what I think. I have no inside information. Uh, this was a joint letter by uh, Republicans and Democrats, I think initiated by the leaders of uh, both. And I will bet uh, that the Republicans wanted to send it to the president, and the Democrats said no. And then in order Makes to, in order to uh, get a joint letter, uh, they succumbed, the Republicans. You know, when you have uh, a Jewish uh, community nationally that supports the president by 78%, in the, the election. That's the highest, uh, second only to uh, the black uh, community in supporting the president. They feel betrayed. And uh, they, do they all feel betrayed? I mean, no, I, they I, don't. I wonder because I know what the, the polls are in Israel, where he's down to like yeah. sub Jimmy Carter approval. Yeah. Um, but in, in, in elsewhere among the Jewish community in this country, yeah. in this city, elsewhere, quite the opposite. I will, why? Yes, I will tell you why. Okay. You know, Jews uh, are. Uh, by nature, very uh, liberal. I, I'm a liberal, but I'm a liberal with sanity. And as uh, Rabbi Hillel said uh, several thousand years ago, if I am not for myself, who will be? If I'm only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? That's a very telling uh, comment. Jews don't feel that way in this country. No, we'll help this group. We'll help that group. We'll help any other group uh, that needs help, and that's wonderful. But don't you help yourself when you see your brothers and sisters in the state of Israel surrounded by nations that want to kill it? The Hamas, which rules Gaza, has a uh, provision in its covenant, governmental covenant, that any Jew who came to historic Palestine or to Israel after 1917 must be expelled. When you have Egypt uh, running uh, the uh, protocols uh, of uh, Zion, which is a uh, Soviet or, uh, no, a czarist uh, fabrication, but very anti-Semitic to right. stir up people, uh, Jordan doing the same, you don't have people who so want to have Obviously, peace. they got to change things quickly in yeah. the to, 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 to heal this. But when you have a big nuclear summit and Israel doesn't go, even though it is probably the more likely target of a, of, 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 of a nuclear attack. Um, I don't see this getting better. Uh, I believe it'll only get better uh, when uh, those who don't speak up, and they're not speaking up, Jewish members of the uh, Congress and Christian members of the Congress who normally speak up and who would be yeah. speaking up on any other issue are dumb.
on this dumb meaning deaf or not hearing. And uh, I uh, believe unless you throw a few of them out, you're not going to get a change. Um, hard to tell where you're coming from often, Mayor. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your frankness, as always. Uh, Mayor Koch, who ruled this fine city for 12 years. One of the best. All right, well, from tree sakes to potato studies, would we...